Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have PH Red Roa versus PH Jude, and this is going to be a new format video. Also, make sure to check out Team Purple Haze Team on YouTube. I will leave a link to it down below in the description. And with that being said, let's hop right into the video, and then we are going to see Red Power win the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, so they can decide if they want to go first or second. Looking at deck counts, we see 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. And then they are going to go ahead and decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Desires, Nian, Imperm, GG, and Qinglong. So this works. And then even if they were going second, they still have an Imperm. And then they have Tanky, Nerval, Tanky, Swallow, and Fractal. So they have no going second cards here. Very unfortunate. And then normal summon. And then use GG effect. That will go ahead and send from the deck to the graveyard of Qinglong. And then Qinglong effect, banish, go grab Lulu, and then discard Qinglong, and then activating desires, and that will be banishing 10. And then seeing the banish, so we see out their main deck in DD Crow, Twin. Oh, we already know they're on Imperm, looks like they opened it. Uh, they're playing three Qinglong. Then go ahead, draw desires and Ash. And then Lulu effect. And then that will special summon itself out by dumping Chuchi, go grab City, then activate City, that's going to bring out Chuchi. Then get rid of those two to go for Coral Dragon, and then Chuchi effect to raise the level, and then get rid of those to make Zulkin. So, I guess, like, my only question is, why did they choose to desires and then lulu why didn't they lulu then desires because like i don't know they, they could have been at this exact same spot and then would have just like been better i mean they also didn't even have to activate city so early they could have wait to set it for zulkin and then Coral, draw on the Roshi, set Imperm, and then Zulkin, summon out Crystal Wing. Yeah, I think they played this a little weird. And then Roshi, dump Tutu, summon itself out, summon back out Gigi, and then getting rid of those to make Shen Shen. Also choosing to summon those in attack, and then end phase Gigi, add back Lulu, and then pass turn, draw Droll. Ah, <laughs> the best six card. Activate Tanky, go grab Fractal. And then Fractal Effect, they're going to chain Ash Blossom to that. And then they admit defeat. Said Coral did draw the Roshi. Cool. So now going on to the next game, we're going to see Jude decide to go first. I think that was just like really weirdly played by Virtual World. Like really, really weird. But going on to the next game, we have Nian, Tutu, Lulu, Shan Wu, and City. But to be fair, this is not an easy deck to play. Everyone always was like, oh, Virtual World's so easy to play, especially back when VFD was a thing. But it's like, okay, it may not be hard to like get to VFD, but to do it properly, not not easy. Not easy, because there's so many different choices. And then they have Tanky, War, Swallow, War, Swallow. Wow, so they have a lot of the same cards there. But this works. Tanky, go grab Fractal. And then Fractal Effect, that's going to dump Sparrow, Special Summon Out, War Effect, and then Special Summon Back Out, they're going to get that effect, said, oh, back to Bird Up, yup, best version of Tribrigate at the moment, and I would not say that, go grab Nerval, and then they're going to go ahead and Overlay, and then use that effect, make a gang attack, and then use the other effect to go ahead and search, go grab DD Crow. Like, that interaction's really good. Go ahead, special, special. And then go ahead and overlay. Okay, so you're going to use that effect. And then go grab another DD Crow. Fair enough. And then make Blossom. Blossom effect, special summon out Nerval. And then Nerval effect, banishing four. Or, yeah, banishing four to summon out Omen. And then getting rid of those to make Bear Bloom, you're going to get those effects. Go grab Kuraz, go grab Kit. And then Normal Summon Out Kit, use that effect. Banish 2, yeah, let's banish 2, go ahead and summon out Double Dragon Lords, and then get rid of all those to make Appalooza, and then you're going to get those effects. That will go ahead, dump Kuraz. 
grab a revolt, put back, draw Nerval, and then put back, set pass, draw Qinglong. So they are going up against five known interruptions here. Not going to be easy. Uh, City, bring out Chu Chi, and then activate Qinglong. They are going to I want to say they're going to DD Crow that out of graveyard so we just can't stop this because like Appaloosa is nuts versus this deck yeah they're going to DD Crow hit that and then Lulu effect on trap Appaloosa negate normal summon out Lulu battle phase try to attack and then they're going to activate and that's going to get rid of tanky to do the bounce and then set yeah, end phase, revolt, and then they admit defeat. So now moving on to game three. This has been pretty quick, actually. I want to see how long the match has been. It's probably been like 10 minutes. Yeah, like 16. So now moving on to game three. We are going to go ahead and see the virtual world player decide to go first. Opening hand, we have Sean Wu, Ash, City, Desires, Lulu. This is it. This is what you want to see. The combo. And then they have Nib, Kuraz, War, Ash, and Twin. It's like, yeah, these cards are just insane, right? And then it activates City. That will go ahead and bring out Choo Chi. And then use Desires. Also, that was obviously like sarcastic. And they're going to Banish. And then Chain Ash Blossom to negate that. Looking at the Banishes, we see a Choo Chi. Uh, nothing, nothing too bad. It's not like they banish like a lot of anything. And then Lulu Effect. The Special Summon itself out by dumping Qinglong and go grab Kirin, and then Qinglong effect, it's gonna banish to go grab Roshi, and then discard the Shan Wu, Kirin effect, and then that's gonna target the trap, special summon by dumping Qinglong and Nian, thinking there, yeah, get rid of those to go for Shen Shen, and then Roshi effect on Shen Shen, dumb city, summon itself out, and then summon back out Kieran, overlay those for M7, and then that will, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to drop Nib there. Yeah, go ahead and drop Nib. So tribute, and then, you know, pass over the token. I like how they wrote down the stats. And then pass, so they don't have an interruption. I mean, they have Ash. I mean, like, the Chuchi's not an interruption is what I meant to say. They, they draw Didi Crow. So they're going to Didi Crow hit Ching Long. Twin Twisters hit Chuchi. And then Normal Summon. Use the effect. If you're wondering why I didn't chain this, because it has to be with different names and they only have Ching Longs banished. And then Kuraz, summon, pass. Okay. Um, I feel like they should have bounced that turn. Because, like, now they could just force it and then try playing main phase two, and that's just, like, enough to beat you. Like, if they would have, like, any hand effect, you know, they already have, like, Shen Shen that can bring itself out. Like, Shan Wu, like, I feel like that was pretty whack. Shan Wu effect, banish, and then that'll summon out Lulu. Oh, they forgot to discard. Wow. I, I wish this card didn't have to discard to be a monster reborn. Turn one, they would have, uh, they would have had Chuchi as an interruption, too, instead of just Ash, because they could have banished that. But make fortune tune, battle phase, attack. They're going to use its effect. You can't bounce that. Real bird is here. Uh, no desires, no party with the side. Yeah, I see. That was a pretty weird match. I'm not going to lie. But, oh my gosh. You know, you know what happened today? You know what happened today? It is July 1st. You know what that means? Ban list is out on DB. You know what that means? We're going back to high rated DB, baby. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, it's going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen soon. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. There was just like, oh, we, what, what even was this match? They just 
I just didn't play around Fortune Tune, which is like an every virtual world player's extra deck. They didn't know this card could not be targeted. That's crazy. They didn't discard off Sean Wu. They didn't bounce last turn. They lost any hand effect, and they just played into that. I don't, I don't know why, but they did. Uh, I mean, it guarantees survival, but does that matter if next turn you have zero plays? While well, they would like have an engine forever, it's like virtual world is like I don't know. Virtual world is definitely kind of crazy. This deck is for sure not bad, for sure. I said this before. I'll say it again. Like people are sleeping on the Shen Shen Chuchi combo. Like even if you get hand trapped, you just summon Shen Shen. You have Chuchi, and it's like, ha like well, what are you what are you gonna do to that? Sometimes that's just like enough to beat you. It's like it's like a, a mini macro plus a pop. And then, you know, obviously they're going to have follow-ups with like Ching Wong, uh, GG, if they draw anything, like a hand effect that's a follow-up. The deck is for sure not bad. And then also it has like space to run like going second cards, like hand traps. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you could play a lot of different things. And it also like play, play like desires in the deck. Uh, so that way they can like draw their side deck cards more too. Deck is for sure not bad. Uh, I think the bird up build of this deck is definitely not the best build of the deck at the moment. I think the pure build is. Uh, I see a lot of people trying out the zoo build. I don't think the zoo build is very good. Everyone's like, oh, Zeus is crazy. It's like, all right, yeah, you're not wrong. Zeus is definitely a good card. But is it worth it? I don't know. I feel like it makes your engine just, like, not as great. I mean, to be fair, like, you can use the zoos with, like, Omen and Tanky, which is, like, also, like, insane. But... I feel like they just don't do enough. I don't know. I feel like without Dryden, they're just like way weaker. Like way weaker. Like the deck, like with Dryden, with Dryden, I like them. Without Dryden, I really don't. I don't think they're like as crazy anymore. Uh, but we can see the match was 31 minutes long. Actually, that's, that's kind of long. I guess they were just testing, so they were probably like thinking a lot. And we did see at one point, uh, they said, yeah, they said then we like go to the log and like do then 2107 if we go there i bet you they were thinking for a little while uh see they sent it and then yeah it took them like over two minutes to make a play yeah see i, t I told you they were thinking uh virtual world is not an easy deck to play you definitely have to like play this deck a lot to like really master it I remember when uh, Nesh was selling spreadsheets for this deck, and like, uh, it actually like wasn't like bad. I, I feel like a lot of people ended up buying it just because like this deck was not an easy deck to play and like master and like, like you you could learn all the combos, but the problem is is like, if you open up like City Lulu, like you could like make that combo pretty easily, right? And just like write it down on a spreadsheet. But when you open up like, GG Lulu Kieran. Plus, like, a Chuchi in hand. It's like, what What are you going to go for exactly? And then it's like, well, you may as well have all those combos written down. So that way, like, you learn them easier. I don't know. Uh, but with all that being said, again, make sure to check out Team Purple Haze. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. With that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.